Copy it right. Anti-plagiarism campaign. What is plagiarism? We know talking about plagiarism is boring, so let's see if we can explain it in 30 seconds or less. Plagiarism is the act of copying or theft of someone else's work, even unintentionally. It can happen if you copy the work of a friend of yours who's taken your class, using information, or even just an image or photo you found online, or something you found in a book. The easiest way to avoid committing plagiarism is by referencing or acknowledging the source. Read up on how your learning institution or workplace goes about referencing sources. It'll save you a lot of trouble in the long run. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more. Copy It Right Anti-Plagiarism Campaign What is art theft, aka visual plagiarism? Visual plagiarism is essentially the same as normal plagiarism. It's when you use someone else's work, art, design, or concept, without significantly changing it or acknowledging the source. When you use anything like videos, photos, logos, screenshots, artworks, animations, and even memes, you could be committing art theft. Take the necessary steps to avoid committing visual plagiarism, or you could fall into a world of trouble in your professional career. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more. Copy It Right Anti-Plagiarism Campaign From art theft to original work, as a visual communicator, you might find yourself using a photo, image, or design you found online. To make sure you stay out of trouble and avoid committing visual plagiarism, all you need to do is change the work or design you found in at least five fundamental ways. You could alter it by changing the color, positioning, scale, lighting, materials, cropping, pattern, layout, and more. This not only makes the design your own, but also helps you find your own flavor of design and create something new. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more. Copy it right. Anti-plagiarism campaign. Don't be a copycat visual communicator. When doing research for a project use several platforms like Behance, Muesli, Pinterest, and so on to find a wide variety of inspiration. After all, the old saying goes copying from one place is plagiarism, but copying from many is research. When working always rather go overboard with the research you're doing instead of relying on only one or two sources. This gives you a lot to incorporate into your designs and shines a light on your own ideas. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more. Copy It Right Anti-Plagiarism Campaign Art theft and its consequences, aka visual plagiarism. When you get caught plagiarizing as a student, and you will, you will likely get a zero on your project, fail the subject, or even get expelled from your academic institution. As a working professional your reputation will likely be ruined after all, who wants to hire a designer who everyone knows only copies other creatives' work? You will lose clients and possibly your job. And you could face serious legal action from the person whose work you stole. It could result in heavy penalties and even jail time. Just don't do it. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more. Copy It Right Anti-Plagiarism Campaign Art Theft Condensed Still unsure if you might get caught plagiarizing? If you've applied all you've learned in the previous clips on recognizing plagiarism, what counts as plagiarism, and its consequences, working from many sources, and changing at least five aspects from an original reference image, if after all that you are still unsure, ask a friend, someone you know and trust for their opinion. If they give you the green light you are probably okay, and if not it's back to the drawing board and that's okay too. Follow at Copy It Right to learn more.